Hey, while you in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like and subscribe. gives us instruction so we don't damage ourselves. Like, for example, what's something that plagues the black and Hispanic community? Hip-hop. Yes, hip-hop is destroying our community. Give me that in Ecclesiastes 7 and 5. That music that's made, what is it, what is it about? Killing, sleeping with somebody wife, sleeping with somebody husband. Robin, that music does not help our community. Remember what the Bible said. It said, blessed are ye that keep my ways. So if we want to be blessed by God, we have to keep his ways. You're blessed if you read these sayings. Why? Because in this Bible, it has what? Our history, our culture, and what we need to do to better ourselves as a people. I ain't talking about nobody else. I'm talking about these people right here on this sign. You blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you are the people of God. You Hispanics, nosotros somos Israelitas. We are God's chosen people. Sis, I ain't get your name. What's your name? Desire. So desire. Being God's chosen people is certain things you need to know because you want to please God, right? Pleasing God, you're not worried about pleasing this world because this world wants us to be a certain way. But I want to talk about something real quick. You want to be blessed? Let's see how we be blessed. Read that. The book of Proverbs, chapter 8 and verse 32. Now, therefore, hearken unto me, O ye children. Stop right there. When he says hearken, hearken means listen. So just like you got parents, right? Your parents say desire. Listen to me. I'm trying to show you something. When we read the Bible, God talking to us. When you read them words, you got to read that like he talking to you because he is. Your people wrote these words down. God told them, write certain things down for what? For us to learn from. So he's saying, listen to me, O ye children. These is the children he's talking about. He's not talking about everybody else. When the Bible talk about the other races of people, it's talking about what? When they was battling with us, when they was doing harm to us, how we going to have them as our slaves? Yes, the other races are promised destined to be our slaves and also it talks about how we gonna live forever how we gonna get the kingdom of heaven you always hear about heaven so you got to understand the difference when you read the bible so when it say oh ye children that's talking about me that's talking about you that's talking about the blacks and hispanics the native americans not everybody else right. but remember what i said how do we be blessed read for blessed are they that keep my way. What did God say? Blessed are they that keep my way. What's your name, sir? Luis. Luis. You want to be blessed? You want to be blessed. This is how you be blessed. Desire, Luis. Hear instruction and be wise and refuse it not. Hear instruction, be wise and refuse it not. So this Bible gives us instruction so we don't damage ourselves. Like for example, what's something that plagues the black and Hispanic community? Hip hop, yes, hip hop is destroying our community. Give me that in Ecclesiastes 7 and 5. That music that's made, what is it, what is it about? Killing, sleeping with somebody wife, sleeping with somebody husband, robbing. That music does not help our community. Remember what the Bible said. It said, blessed are ye that keep my ways. So if we want to be blessed by God, we have to keep his ways. 
That music has nothing to do with God's ways. All it does is influence us to do something bad. That's why in the club, what happens when people go to the club? Fights and shootouts because of the music. Read. Ecclesiastes chapter 7 and verse 5. It is better to hear the rebuke of the wise. So you black man, you Hispanic man, you Hispanic women, you Hispanic men. It's better to hear what? The rebuke of the why is better for us to hear what's coming out of this Bible, the knowledge out of this Bible, the rules out of this Bible, than what? Then for a man to hear the song of fools. Then for a man to do what? Hear the song of fools. God said that music, that drill music, a lot of that hip hop music, that's the song of fools. Because you get influenced by it, and then you try to go out there and do what you're listening to. Think about that song by that girl, Glorilla. What's she talking about in the song? You know what song I'm talking about. She say she F nigga free. What do you get out of that? Pregnant women twerking in the video, twerking with a baby in their hand. What influence is we getting from that? A bad one. That's why God say this, Hosea 14 and 1. That's why God say we destroyed ourselves by our own actions. Even this neighborhood right here, back of the yard, gang banging, drug dealing, drug using. None of that stuff help our people. It's time for us to do what? Come back to the Bible. Read. Hosea chapter 14 and verse 1. O Israel, return unto the Lord thy God. God telling us, desire, return to me. Think about it. We try Buddhism, we try Islam, Christianity. We go to all of these religions except coming back, reading the Bible, and doing what God tells us to do. If we just look at our lives individually, you try everything your way and it don't work because you're not doing what he say. When you read the Bible, you read about your foreparents. King David, that's your great-great-great-grandfather. Moses, that's your great-great-great-grandfather. You come from these men in the Bible. And you hear about them having success when they did what? Start listening to God. Every time. I don't care where you read in here. When they had everything going well for them, they was listening to God. When stuff started going bad, that's because they wasn't listening to God. That's why back in the yards it's like this. Don't nobody listen to God. We do what we want to do up in back of the yards. Inglewood. Next neighborhood over, Auburn, Gresham. We do what we want to do. Break the Sabbath. You ain't supposed to be buying and selling today. That's in here. But we don't read. Remember what the officer showed you before he stepped down. Blessed are ye that readeth. You're blessed if you read this because you're going to find out what your purpose is. Read that again. O Israel. Return unto the Lord thy God. God saying, come back to me. Leave this world alone. Stop trying to follow this world. Come back to God. Why? For thou hast fallen by thine iniquity. We have fallen by our iniquity. Iniquity is sin. We fail because of sin. That's why we in this lower state. That's why our neighborhoods look like this. We the only race of people we appear in the same elevator that we gotta catch up the flights to go home. You gotta ride on this elevator every day when you come home, but you appear in it. We the only ones live like that. Look, garbage all over the ground. We the only ones live like this. Because what? We have no self-care. Our minds is gone. We destroyed ourselves. So now, how do we come out of that state? We got to come back and do what God says. Now, you a young lady. What's something that God want his daughters to do? Now, he got rules for the woman. Just like he got rules for the man, he got rules for the woman. Do you think God care how we dress? Yes, he do. I thought the same thing. It's okay. I'm just asking the question. Because us as the people, we don't, our mind don't go that far. God care how we dress. We can't dress how we want to dress. A lot of times, we want to follow today's fashion. Today's fashion is disgusting in the eyesight of God. All them shirts and 
pants and tight skirts. God don't want you wearing that. You got children, nieces, nephews. How would you feel if your niece was out here with a shirt that went up to her shoulder, stomach, shoulder, breast? How would you feel? You will feel embarrassed. You will be upset. You will be damn near ready to go whoop her right there on sight. That's how God feels. You being a daughter of God, you can't dress like these other races of people. You can't because that's beneath you. Read that. First Timothy chapter 2 and verse 9. In like manner also that women adorn themselves in modest apparel. You know what that word modest mean? Modest mean respectful. God wants his daughters to dress respectfully. Do black and Hispanic women dress respectfully today? No, they do not. Believe it or not, the way you dress determines how people are gonna treat you. Black and Hispanic women, the way you dress determines how you will be treated. That's why sisters, they don't be understanding. I'm walking in a restaurant he gonna look me up and down and say, can he crack? Well, look how you dressed. Back then, dressing loose, dressing loose, that was the uniform of what? A prostitute. That's right. So today, you can't tell which is which. So if a sister is dressing immodest, modest is respectfully, immodest, that's not respectful clothing. If you dressing loose, if you got your breasts out, your butt out, how's that man gonna treat you? He gonna talk to you like you a street walker, like you a prostitute. That's right. You've seen this, have you not? Sister walk past, hey, check it out. No respect at all, but look at how she dressed. We gotta come back to how God want us to dress. Read that again. The book of 1 Timothy, chapter two and verse nine. And like matter also, that women adorn themselves in modest apparel uh -huh. with shame face. Shame face. Shame face meaning what? You're not all up in a man's face. Right. You're not boisterous. Right. Boisterous meaning them women who be all aggressive, neck rolling. I say what I want to say. God say you ain't supposed to be like that. So we got to come out of that behavior. If that's how you used to act, if you love God, you're going to change yourself according to this. Whatever God want me to do, this what I'm going to do. Read. And sobriety. Sobriety. Be sober. It's dangerous for a woman to be outside high. Be high, period. Let me say that. Be high, period. When you outside in Chicago as a woman and you like that, you putting yourself in danger. That's right. How many women come up missing in Chicago and don't get found? God telling you be sober. Right. You're a daughter of God, be sober. Right. I don't care how much they talk about, oh, it's cracking, pop a pill, smoke a blunt. Okay, you pop that pill, you smoke that blunt, now you wake up, you in some room somewhere. Because what, when you're high, when you're inebriated, you can't pay attention to your surroundings. You born and raised here? Is this not a place where you gotta be on your P's and Q's? So being high, is that a benefit or is that a detriment? That's a detriment. How you gonna run or get out the way if you high as hell? God telling you how to stop from destroying yourself, how to stop from getting into situations. Read. Not with braided hair, or gold, or pearls, or costly array. God is not saying that you can't wear those things, jewelry, but he's saying don't let that be all you have to offer. Because the women in the Bible, when you read about them, they weren't just outwardly beautiful. They were intelligent. They were smart. They cared about their people. That's what you got to turn yourself into if you love God. Read on. But which becometh of a woman professing godliness with good works. Give me uh, Romans 7 and verse 12. Because what's them good works? Dressing right, 
guess what? All that come up, when you put all that together, that's keeping the commandments. Just that simple. That's the good works. That's what he wants you to do. You keep the commandments, it's going to keep you safe. Not only do the Bible say that, that's proof. Because when we don't keep the commandments, you get this. Read. The book of Romans, chapter 7 and verse 12. Wherefore, the law is holy, and the commandment holy, and just and good. So that's the good works. What's something else in our community that's destroying us? Single parent homes, drugs. We got to repent. We got to change our mind. Whatever you thought, whatever you knew before, you got to let that go and come back to what God said. Because by doing that, you keep yourself out of harm. You ain't going to get caught up in none of this. Like what happened on uh, Polk in California? A shootout. They was out there for a prayer visual on Polk in California. Somebody rolled through, sprayed the block, hit a three-year-old and a five-year-old. Shot them little boys all up in their leg. This is why we need the Bible. Because the Bible tell us how to deal with one another. Read. The book of Acts, chapter 3 and verse 19. Repent ye therefore and be converted, that your sins may be blotted out, when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. Read it again from the top. Repent ye therefore and be converted. So the Bible telling us to repent. Repent means change. I'm making it plain for you. Repent means to change. We got to change our ways. Do what? Repent and what? And be converted. Be converted. Be converted to what? Something, 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 something that you were, you were before what you were. Right. So you converting to who? What you converting to? God. Exactly. God. Don't convert to Islam. Don't convert to none of these religions out here. We got to convert to God. God's ways. Because like I was telling Desire here, I ain't get your name. What's your name, sir? Barry. Barry. Baron. Like I was telling Desire Baron. We have not followed God's ways. We have not tried to follow God's ways. We've tried everything else. We didn't try even to march. That don't help us. What's going to help us, Baron, is not only reading, but doing what's said here. Applying it to our life. Hold on. Read. Repent ye therefore and be converted that your sins may be blotted out. Who want to be forgiven of their sins? Every last, every, every hand should go up that's out here that hit his mic. So the way you're going to get forgiven of those sins is by what? Repenting, changing, and asking God for forgiveness. But you don't just, oh God, I'm sorry, and then you go back and do it. No. Sin no more. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. is you.